What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the coolest dragon types of all time, Noivern. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way. Helps me grow as a content creator. So I want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. Speaking of shout outs, gotta give a shout out to the team creator, Gail. Thank you so much for being a long time viewer and thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. This team looks amazing. Cannot wait to hop on that rank ladder and look to grab some wins with it. But we can get started here with today's team preview. Start off in the top left corner, we have the Ostrich over here as Pathra. It has speed boost as its ability and the Cobra Berry as its item. It's got Lumina Crash, Dazzling Gleam, Skill Swap, and Protect for its four moves. Second Pokemon is going to be that Noivern. Such a cool Pokemon, love its design, and I love its typing of Dragon and Flying. It has Telepathy as its ability, Rocking the Silk Scarf as its item, and it's got that normal Terror type with Tailwind, Boom Burst, Hurricane, and Heat Wave for its four moves. So this Pokemon's really made the kind of just like get after the battle with a normal Terra, then Boom Burst, because that's going to, do, going to do a crazy amount of damage. Then add on top of that the Silk Scarf, it's pretty much GG's with that amount of damage. <laughs> Garchomp's going to be our third Pokemon. It's pretty normal in the meta right now. This one has Rough Skin and Life Orb with EQ, Dragon Call, Rock Slide, and Protect. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Annihilate, another Pokemon that you guys have seen all across the meta, but this time it has a little bit of a different moveset. It has Defiant and Choice Scarf as an item. And it's got Shadow Claw, EQ, U-Turn, and Close Combat. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Gardevoir, and Gardevoir is going to be great for countering Trick Room teams. It has Imprison and Trick Room, Rock and Telepathy as its ability, Focus Sash, and then its last two moves is going to be Dazzling Gleam and Destiny Bond. Final Pokemon is going to be Rotom Wash over here. We gave it the Salt Vest to make it a bit more bulkier on the special attacking side, or I should say special defensive side. And then it has Levitate as its ability, which I think I already mentioned. And then its moveset is going to consist of Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, Discharge, and Dark Pulse. Love this Pokemon, cannot wait to bring him into the battle. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this ranked Noivern team. First match come at you guys going up against a Sandrush Houndstone team with Amoongus, Murkrow, Meowskarada, Golden Go, and last but not least, he's rocking that T-Tar to pair up with that Houndstone. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I'm kind of liking the S Pathra. It's really not too bad. But I'm also liking the Noivern. So I'm actually going to lead Noivern just in case I want to pop Tailwind here at the same time. Could definitely be really good for us because this Pokemon's rather fast, right? I kind of was just looking at its moves, but 175 speed. Whoo! This thing can be cooking. This thing can get us cooking. So I'm going to go Noivern. I might also go Annihilate, but I really don't think this Pokemon's too bad here. Or I can also go Gardevoir. Gardevoir could be a strong lead and go into some fairy moves. Kind of rock out from there. I'm kind of all about Gardevoir for the lead. So yeah, I'm going to go Gardevoir. I'm going to go Noivern. I am going to bring... Do I bring a Rotom in the back end? Or do I bring a Pokemon more so like Annihilate in the back end? Definitely want Garchomp, right? Garchomp really thrives. But yeah, I'm going to go Garchomp. And then last but not least, I'm leaning towards Annihilate or Rotom. And I feel like they both have their value, right? I feel like they really both have their value. Let me look at Annihilate's moves one more time. Shadow Call, EQ, U-Turn, Close Combat. So yeah, not bad with the moves. You think of Rotom, not bad with the moves. I'm going to end up going Annihilate here. Choice Scarf, can now speed in the back end. I'm all about it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I'm super excited to use Noivern. It's a Pokemon that I haven't got to showcase in Scarlet Violet, so this video should be fun. And hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Seriously, Noivern's just awesome. But yo, look! The guy's picture was Noivern. That's so sick. That is so sick. Our opponent's picture had Noivern in it. That's hilarious. He's going to go with Golden Girl and Murkrow. I could pop a Heat Wave turn one. I could definitely pop a Heat Wave turn one. He's probably going to go for a Make It Rain. Um, I do have Focus Ash, which is really, really good. I might just Tailwind here. I could definitely Tailwind and match, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to Tailwind. I'm going to match uh, speed, and I think I'm just going to pop a Gleam. Or I could pop or I could pop a Trick Room. I could definitely pop a Trick Room instead, which I think I'm going to do. If he's going to Tailwind, you know what? I'm just going to straight up Heat Wave, and I am just going to Trick Room. That's going to be my play. Yep, he's going to Tailwind. I'm just going to trick him instead of matching Tailwinds. Get off an attack with Noivern. Heat Waves a lot better. I'm all about it. Make it Rain's going to come out here. Deal some damage onto my Noivern. Focus Ash is going to pop out for Gardevoir. I'm cool with that turn. Really cool with that turn. Really cool with that turn. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. They have no first turn priority. I think this is a solid turn from us because we can just get after it next battle. Next, uh, next uh, round. But we missed a Murkrow, which kind of sucks. That actually really sucks. That really sucks. Now we missed a Merker there. 
Because I want to go into Boom Burst, but I mean, Heat Wave is probably your play again, right? I mean, Boom Burst has no effect on that. And I don't think a, a Dazzling Gleam can KO. Yeah, so we're just going to have to go into this. The Trick Room worked actually really well for us. Maybe we'll go into Boom Burst next turn. Then end up withdrawing Golden Go. I think I'm fine with that as long as we can get rid of this Murkrow. But I'm not too sure if we can get rid of this Murkrow. Houndstone is going to come out here. I don't mind the Houndstone flying out here. Do not mind that. We're going to have some big time damage. Deal some damage on the Murkrow. Heat Wave, can you KO the Murkrow, please? We do not. Wow, I wish we would hit the other Murkrow. Like, yesterday. Or last turn. <laughs> kind of sucks that we didn't. Both my Pokemon go down here. Speed's in our, on our side as, at the moment, which isn't bad. And we get to throw out Garchomp and Annihilate. So I'm going to have the choice to move, knowing that he has Golden Go. Shadow Call might be a, a choice. I think I am going to choice into Shadow Call. Got to be my play. I am choice Scarf, so kind of hurts the soul. But they are Tailwind, so it kind of cancels out. I wish I had, like, bulk up on this, because then I could just straight up Rock Slide, pick up the double KO. But yeah, I think I have the choice into Shadow Call here. I think Shadow Call is going to be my choice move. I'm going to Shadow Call that, and I'm just going to drop Rock Slide across the board. That's a play all day. Houndstone might be faster than Annihilate, but I think Garchomp goes first. Yep, Garchomp does go first. And we don't pick up the KO one than a Houndstone. Come on, guys. Pick up the extra damage. Pick up the extra damage. It'd be huge. We need to pick up the extra damage. Annihilate still is slower, which is good, so we're going to be able to take out Houndstone. And this trick and play was huge for us. It really was. It was really, really big for us. So now he's forced to go back into Golden Go. Um, I could... I could Terrasalize my Garchomp. I could definitely Terrasalize my Garchomp. He's going to throw out Golden Go. I think Garchomp Terrasalize is going to be huge for us. Which I think has to be my play. I think I have to Terrasalize and go for EQs. Right? Seems like my best bet. I'm going to Shadow Call that slot. And I'm just going to... I'm going to Terrasalize. I'm going to pop EQs. How many turns is left in this? Because Annihilate should be able to eat up the shots. Annihilate should be able to eat up the shots. Trick Room's two turns, eh, but that means Sandstorm is one. So I think they protect to try to get Trick Room out here. So you know what? I, I shouldn't go for... I shouldn't go for an EQ. I am going to end up hitting my Pokemon, but I am still going to Terrasalize. I am still definitely going to Terrasalize, and I'm just going to pop a Dragon Call into uh, the T-Tar slot. Yeah, I can't... I can't throw a what's called out right now. An EQ, just in case double protect for the tailwind to end. He's going to end Terrasalize and the Garchomp into what typing? I think Ghost typing, that's that's not anything too crazy. I mean, he can do some work onto my Annihilate. But as long as we get rid of his Pokemon and change this to like a 1v1, I feel like he could definitely be solid for us. I really need this to become a 1v1 right now. That'd be huge, that'd be huge. But Golden Go might be slower, I don't, I don't know. Because again, we have Choice Scarf, but he's in Tailwind and Trick Room's up. So there's a lot of factors going into it right now. He does not protect anything, but T-Tar goes first. That's a little weird. T-Tar's that slow. I'm going to be able to pop a nice little Dragon Call. Hopefully no flinches here, and we can get off our Shadow Call. Go ahead, Annihilate. Yes, sir. Annihilate gets off Shadow Call. Takes out the Golden Go. We are sitting pretty here for this next match. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Is there Tailwind's gone? I might just still pop a Dragon Claw. I think it's going to be my play. Pop another Dragon Claw. Just, in, just in, up until the Trick Room's gone. Because I really don't want to hit my Annihilate with a... Uh, I really do not want to hit my Annihilate with an EQ. It's just going to do too much damage. t going to pop another Rock Slide. We're soaking that up all day. We're just hoping no flinches is happening. Dragon Claw pops out here. Dealing some nice damage. Can Annihilate finish this one off? Go ahead, Annihilate. No, you flinch. You little biscuit. You little biscuit. <laughs> my boy ends up flinching. I'm just going to double down again. Garchomp now outspeeds. Actually, so does what's called. So does Annihilate. Both my Pokemon, though, the, well, they outspeed. Both my Pokemon outspeed. We take out the T-Tar. That's GG's. Match number one goes to your boy. Solid play from us to set up that Trick Room, predicting the Tailwind, put us on top of that whole match, and ended up get, and ended up getting us that win. Second battle coming at you guys. Looking for a nice little back-to-back -back victory for you guys. Going up against a pretty cool team with Paul Mott, Killer Watchful, Sylveon, and then also Amoongus, Golden Go, and... What is that Pokemon? Gargleknack. Okay, so I am definitely want Rotom in the back end for that Pokemon. I might even go Noivern here as a nice little lead. I can start Boom Bursting. Kind of getting after the battle that way, so I'm all about it. I'm going to go Noivern. I might even go Annihilate here. I don't think Annihilate is too bad with the Choice Scarf. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring that Pokemon. We definitely want Rotom in the back. And then last but not least, I think Espathor could be pretty solid here. I really like this Pokemon all around. Cool Pokemon. Has speed boost. I'm with it. I'm with it. If they do lead Kilowatt Roll, I think I'm going to have to match the Tailwind and then get going with the battle that way. But other than that, I feel like we should be fine with this battle. 
I feel like we should definitely be fine. Might also lead Palma. Palma is definitely an option for them, considering it, it learns Fake Out and it kind of just set up the battle that way. But we'll see. We'll see. So I feel like Kilowattro or Palma, or maybe even both, going to be in the lead. Let's see. Both. There, there it is. Both. So I think he's going to Fake Out. I think he might set up a Tailwind. He can't Fake Out my Annihilate. So he's going to Fake Out my Noivern. I can't really do much about that. I'm going to try to set up a Tailwind here. And ch -ch -ch -ch, I could U turn out. I kind of want it for later. And I'm thinking of just, just U turning out here. Or I could go for EQ. I'm thinking just U-turning, which I'm going to do. I'm just going to U-turn, take off Focus Ash for Palmot, because chances are Palmot is rocking the Focus Ash. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to just save it for later. I'm saving it for later. Let's see, Fake Out's going to come out here. Saw that from a mile away. If I had Protect, I would have Protected. And then U-turn's going to fly out here and just chip up a little bit of damage. So we U-turn out. He could be going for a flying move into me, or he could be going for a Tailwind. So in that case, I could go S Pathra. Or I could go with in with Rotom. Hmm. I really don't mind Rotom. I really don't want S Pathra taking damage here. Actually, I don't mind S Pathra coming in here. I'm gonna go S Pathra. S Pathra. Get this Pokemon out and about. I'm trying to set up a tailwind with Noivern next turn. Yep, there's a tailwind from them. So I'm just gonna protect S Pathra because I could definitely see like a double down happening. And I'm just gonna go from there. So yeah, and I'm just going to Tailwind up. All right, so Tailwind coming out here. I'm going to protect and get that speed boost here as well. And we're going to we're, we're gonna take this battle a little slower. God dang, fake out. Fake out doing me dirty. It's doing me dirty. I feel like one of them has to go after Espatha, right? One of them has to be going after Espatha. Hopefully both. Let's see what they want to do. They're going to Terrasilize. Okay, so Terrasilize is going to come out here. Probably onto the Kilowatch, right? Electric? No, straight into the Palmot. Palmot's going to turn into a straight Electric type. A little weird. I think I think it knows that I'm, that I'm Psychic typing, so he kind of wants to like protect that. So it's going to go straight Electric. Hopefully, go after my Aspathra. He's going to straight Discharge. Ooh. Ooh. Discharge looking a little scary. Bolt Absorb coming out from... Oh, that's a Kilowattle doing it. That's a Kilowattle doing it. I'm able to eat with Noivern. He's going to double shot. Go into my Espathra. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's a really solid turn from us. That's not a bad turn from us. Really not a bad turn from us. It's not a bad turn. Because now my Espathra is probably one of the fastest Pokemon on the field. And then from here, I can just pop a Heat Wave. Just get rid of that Focus Ash. I don't think I'm just Lumina crashing into this thing. Double down and Palmont might be my play. I really want to get rid of Palmont now that it is uh, Terrasilize. And he can constantly get healed up by Discharges. But I'd rather, just, I'd rather just get rid of it. Then the Crash coming in hot here. Doing some good damage. Can Heat Wave KO here? Can Heat Wave KO? He's going to be able to Discharge first. That hurts, man. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Now he probably picks up the double KO. This combo is actually working out really good. S Pathor, can you eat up this shot? We know Double Shock's coming in hot here. We already know what he's doing. Double shot coming in here. That's probably KO on me. That's some big damage. That's a really cool combo. I'm a big fan of this. Wow. He only, he only needed one of them. He only needed one of them. Only needed one. Okay. He used up all of his electricity. I do not know what that means. But I get to bring out you. And I get to bring out you. So we know that Kilowatt was wind power. So I can hit that thing with electric moves. If I like to. Um... I could choice into an EQ, which I kind of want to, but I really don't want to, you know? I'm definitely going to Thunderbolt this slot. I think that's my play. I do have Terrasilization into ground. You know, I'm going to do it. Screw it. We're going to tear in the ground. We are going to Terrasilize into my ground typing. But chance are he's going to go for an air move into my Annihilate anyway. So we're going to hope this should be enough damage to take out the uh, Palmot. We should have speed on our side, at least for Annihilate to go first. Because again, we're choice scarf with that. And Thunderbolt should be able to chunk up a decent amount of damage onto that uh, Kilowattro. So EQ's going to fly. Rotom dodges that. So this is a solid combo to kind of have here. And this should take out the Palmot, right? Can we get rid of the Palmot, please? Palmot dead. Thank you. Palmot's dead. We get rid of that Pokemon. And I think we can make a shot at winning this battle. Hopefully we can make a shot at winning this battle. Let's see. Discharge is going to fly from him. 
does not affect my Annihilate now, which is solid. And Rotom soaks up rather well with that Assault Vest. I like that turn. I really like this turn. Thunderbolt comes through here. Killing it with the damage. Bringing out the Sash. Bringing out the Focus Sash, which I love. And now I can freely discharge as well. I can freely discharge. I can see Kilowattrel protecting just to get rid of that last turn Trick Room. But I'm just going to discharge to get rid of the Kilowattrel and then EQ into that slot. Yo, I'm liking this right here. Perfect combo to have in the back end just to pop EQs and discharges. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's see who he throws out because I don't think we took a... That was the first Pokemon we took out. But again, we're not seeing bad. I mean, EQ into Discharge here. Definitely my play. Definitely my play. I mean, Amoongus seems like it's going to be a problem though. Because I can see him protecting and going into a Spore here. Amoongus seems like it's going to be a problem. Unless my EQ can do some nice damage. I mean, I could always Dark Pulse it, but... I feel like at that point, it's just going to be putting me to sleep. This battle's going to be real close. It's going to come down to wire. I'm just hoping the Kilowattro doesn't protect this turn. It does not. That's actually really big for us. That's really big because my Rotom outspeeds that Kilowattro with, a, with a, our Tailwind up. So EQ coming in higher. How much damage are we doing to Amoongus? Eh, eh, eh. It ain't too shabby. It ain't too shabby. This charge comes out here. We do about half to Amoongus. He's definitely spore me, but we do get a Paralyze. I love that. So now we have a chance for this thing not to move. That's a big time paralyze. Don't move. Be paralyzed. It spores me. How dare you? How dare you spore me? Even though, like, I think it was my last battle. Or my last video. I was sporing Pokemon left and right. Or it, was, it was one of my past two battles. So he spores me. Um, I could start going after it, which I might want to do. Just start chunking it up. But it's going to go into... Oh my god. Oh, oh, I need... I need to get rid of this Amoongus. Right now. I want to go into a Hydro Pump so bad. But he has to follow me, the shots, right? I'm going to go straight into a Dark Pulse here. Or if he hasn't Terrasilize yet. If he hasn't Terrasilize yet, he can Terrasilize, right? And most of the time, they're Ghost Typing. Well, this could, this could get this could get ugly real quick. This could get ugly real quick. I'm trying to remember if he did Terrasilize. Yeah, he did with Paul Mod. So he has to stay... He has to say rock. And if I had to guess, no, I was gonna say he would rage powder here. Wow, I could just went into a hydro pump there. I could just went into a hydro pump. That could have been great for us. That could have been real good for us. We could just straight up hydro pump. I'm doing an X turn. Please don't spore me. Do not be a double spore guy. He's gonna salt me. He's gonna double spore me, aren't you? You're gonna double spore me. You're gonna be that person. You're gonna be that person. You're that person. You're that person. We found him. Ladies and gentlemen, arrest this person right now. This should not be allowed. Should not be allowed. I'm getting salt cured. I'm asleep. I should have hydro pumped that turn. If I hydro pumped that turn, I, I was just predicting, you know, the what's called to happen. I was predicting the uh, the rage powder. I mean, I, I, I could have seen him from a thousand miles away. I would have guessed it a hundred times out of a hundred times that he was just rage powdering. But no, we could have just ripped into that thing with hydro pump. Could have. Should have, could have, would have. We're gonna be something. If he doesn't take out my Rotom, we do have a chance to uh, wake up next turn. But if I was him, I would just take me out 100%. But he might just salt cure both my Pokemon. Yeah. He's gonna salt cure both my Pokemon here. Do a little bit of damage to me. And again, we are hoping. We are hoping. Oh, he's gonna go for another. Yo, what? You're going for another Spore? Get on out of here. Rotom, I need you to wake up here. I need you to wake up here ASAP. ASAP. Need him to wake up here, because if not, we gotta do another salt cure. Let's go, Rotom. I need you here, buddy. I need you to wake up. EQ's flying. Hydro Pump's flying. Rotom, let's go. It's your time to shine. We outspeed both these Pokemon. And then I lay asleep. Come on, Rotom. Come on, Rotom. Wake up, buddy. Oh, Tom. Tom. Oh, Tom. I need you. I need you. Iron Defense gonna come out here. And yeah, we're probably just gonna have to run this battle. Yeah, we're getting salt cured, we're getting spored up, all that good stuff. But yeah, Rotom's gonna drop out here. Not looking good for us. We definitely should have just hydro pumped it. But yeah, I'm gonna run this battle. We're gonna count it out, but it's a loss. Now we're sitting one and one for today's video.
Third and final match coming at you guys. I wish we would have won that last battle. I wish we would have just Hydra pumped in that Gargonac instead of predicting the Rage Powder. We would have won that battle, but hey, it's all good. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Let's look for a winning record. Going up against a Kilowattle, Garchomp, Rotom Wash, and then, uh, what is that? Miascarada, Hydreigon, and Amoongus. So a lot of uh, meta Pokemon. A lot of meta Pokemon. I definitely want to bring in probably my Garchomp, or uh, honestly, my Gardevoir could be solid here as well. I just want to lead Gardevoir. Or do I back end Gardevoir? Back end, back end Gardevoir could be solid here too. But I'm going to go Noivern just in case I want to pop Tailwind, all that good stuff. We're going to be able to counter it with our own Tailwind. Or I can just say no to Noivern and go Gardevoir and pop a Trick Room. Definitely good options for us. Definitely really good options for us. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Gardevoir. And you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go Noivern as well. We can freely Boom Burst. I do really like that. So I'm going to go in with them too. I am going to bring. Uh, ch -ch -ch Annihilate's not bad here either with the Choice Scarf. I'm going to bring Rotom. I kind of dig Rotom. Actually, no, I don't really like Rotom. <laughs> I'm going to go Garchomp, and I'm thinking Espathra. Because I really like this little Ostrich. It's really not bad at all. I'm going to go to Ostrich. I'm going to go Ostrich. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. But first battle went pretty solid for us. We countered up their uh, Tailwind with the Trick Room. Won that battle. Second battle, we should have won. We should have been sitting here 2-0. and But, uh, yeah. Jeans made a mistake. Jeans made a mistake, and I, I'll take that one to the chin. Let's see who our opponent leads. It is going to be the da -da -da. Kill Watch on Garchomp. Okay. It's not terrible. I mean, I feel like I have to set up a Trick Room here. I think Trick Room's going to be my play, and I might just Terrasalize and Boom Burst. I think that's my play. I think, it's, I think that's an easy play for us. I feel like it's a simple, simple, easy play for us, right? Because even if he doesn't Tailwind here, even if he doesn't Tailwind, I have a feeling like Trick Room's still going to be good. He has really fast Pokemon with the Kilowatt roll. But I, I would feel like he's Tailwind, right? It's Kilowatt roll. That Pokemon's so fast. He wants to Tailwind and set up his Garchomp. Or he might just Tailwind and protect the Garchomp. Or he might Tailwind and Terrasalize. A lot of different options they can go into. I'm Terrasalizing my uh, Noivern, and I'm going into some straight Boom Bursts. I'm ready to rip with some Boom Bursts. I'm all about it. Plus, Noivern is super sick. I love this Pokemon. He's, he's the sole reason I use this team today for you guys. He does protect Garchomp. That's totally fine. I I think he's going to Tailwind, right? Tailwind protect. Gotta be the play. Discharge. Never mind. I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. That's fine. Boom Burst is going to fly. You get it. Ooh, that's, that's not cool. Do not double down on Paralyzers. What? What? <laughs> this game... Actually, Trick Room's going to help us at this point because we're paralyzed. What? Watch. I bet you any amount of money my Gardevoir is going to be paralyzed this turn. I'll put 6 million Pokey Dollars on it. Boom Burst doing some big time damage. Bring that thing down to Focus Ash. And okay, cool. Trick Room comes out here. It actually works perfectly, Trick Room. Because <laughs> we're paralyzed. We're sitting here paralyzed. From here, we got to go for the Gleam. Or I could Destiny Bond. I could definitely Destiny Bond. I could definitely Bond. But I feel like Gleam and Boom Burst should, should be our play. I'm liking the Gleam and Boom Burst. The Gleam and Boom Burst. I might as well use as many Boom Bursts as I can because I have Telepathy on my side right now. Yo, that hurts, man. He protects Kilowattle. That's totally fine. He's not Terrasalizing, which is good. Gleam's going to be able to do a nice chunk of damage here. And Boom Burst, if it lands without being paralyzed, should be able to clean this Garchomp up, no problem. Good, Boom Burst. Oh, lovely, lovely. Just love this game. I just love this game. I just love this RNG. Now Dragon Call carries me, doesn't it? We survive, but it still hurts the soul. Uh, I, could, I might unpop Trick Room here. And just Boom Burst for the KOs. Who do I have in my back end? Espathor with Speed Boost. I mean, we might as well use these turns. We might as well use these turns, right? We might as well use these turns. It makes the most sense. How many turns is left in Trick Room? Three. Yeah, we might as well use these turns. We might as well. They might even swap Pokemon. They do not. Let's double kill. Beautiful. Awesome. Dope. Because what I was going to do is unpop Trick Room and just Boom Burst for the KOs and then let these Pokemon die and have my other two Pokemon come in here and win us the battle. But we might as well use these turns to our advantage. Because now next turn, I'm gonna be we're gonna be slowest on the field. And I can boom burst and dazzling gleam again. Or I can straight up destiny bond, which I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of just straight up destiny bonding here. 
Let's see. He's going to go into Hydreigon. Yeah, we're going to Destiny Bond this. Destiny Bond to Boom Burst all day long. Nesker Vibes can come in here. Might even Sucker Punch me. But yeah, I'm with Destiny Bond because if I can get rid of one more of these Pokemon, take them down with me, it's going to be a lovely little turn. It's going to be lovely. So we're Boom Burst and we are Destiny Bond. They are going to Terrasilize. Probably Steel type into Hydreigon. If I had to guess. Or Fire. Or Jolly Roger Bay. That's what I like to call the poison because of the, the, that, that skull and crossbones reminds me of like a Jolly Roger pirate ship. <laughs> Sucker Punch coming in here. That's fine. Can I get this Destiny Bond off? Can I get this Destiny Bond off? Please, yo, if I'm paralyzed this turn, the game's doing me dirty. The game wants me to lose if I'm paralyzed this turn. Pop it. Pop the Destiny Bond. Let's go. Let's go. Big time plays from Jeans. Destiny Bonding our Gardevoir. He's attacking it. Get it on out of here. Let's go. Let's go. That's a great turn from us. That's a lovely turn from us. Perfect place from us. You're going to Terra Blast us. Hey, yo, Hydreigon. I hope you like going down with Gardevoir. I hope you like it. I hope you like it. Gardevoir took its attacker down with it. Later. Later. What a play from us for the final battle. That pretty much solidified our victory. So you still have Rotom. I mean, Rotom's not looking too good up against us. But Espanther is looking pretty solid here. Espanther is looking pretty solid. Lovely little Espathra. There's Panther still in here. That thing already did take some damage due to life form. Oh, I have Guard Jump. I thought I had Rotom. Oh, that's, that makes it 10 times better. Makes it 10 times better. I'm just going to go into this, and I could just Dragon Ball. Yeah, I'm going to Dragon Ball. Battle was canceled. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and 1 for today's video. A winning record. What a set of matches for today's video. Ended up going 2-1. Probably should have went 3-0, but I absolutely love this team all around. The Noivern, the Gardevoir, Espanther, three Pokemon that I don't get to use a lot on the channel. Absolutely rocked out, and we were able to dominate the top tier ladder with it. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.